Hey guys, this is Cam for 15 back at it with another video for you guys, and I'm back with another Classroom of the Elite episode review for you guys, as uh, we are back with uh, this show, and uh, if you're a K-Fan, you did not like this episode, especially at the end. I'm a K-Fan, I did not like that episode, but uh, it's crazy, it's crazy. So Ryuen is... Uh, trying to find out desperately who the mastermind is um and i'm guessing if he has to freaking try to almost ding pretty much trying to like forcibly trying to kill i want to say trying she's he's trying to kill k he's just trying to make her break but she's not breaking but let's get to this week's episode this episode's kind of split into two different parts um the first part is kind of just freaking um Ryu when um coming pretty much approaching class D. Um and I think this is just a ploy by him to see like because we see how Koenji he just ends up leaving. Um and the thing is, you know, we see how a good chunk of people well not a good chunk, but a few of the cl classmates we know from class D, you know, come out there. Aina Koji also goes out there too. Um, now, I think he was wondering, like, okay, who's here and who's not here? Now, he thinks it's Ayana Koji. Um, he just wants Ayana Koji to freaking break. And in a way, just like fall, fall apart to where he can catch him in the act. But Ayana Koji showed up, and the whole thing, this was kind of a whole stage thing where. He was trying to set up potentially attacking Koenji. Now, the thing is, is, in this whole discussion is, you know, Koenji pretty much explains his motives, why he does what he does. And pretty much Ryuan pretty much figures out like, okay, yeah, this guy is not it. Like that one blue haired chick, I forgot her name. She's like, so you're just gonna let him get away because he gets away. Um, and, you know, he's like, dude, he he's not even a part of who I'm looking for like yes you know if I really was serious about this guy I would have went after him and I would not let him go but he's not the guy I'm looking for I also did find it funny that one girl um we actually saw um last week um talking to Ayana Koji in the uh library well it seems like uh Rewin does not like her absolutely at all and I guess you know they actually do have beef and they actually do not have side to side because she was calling him dragon boy thanks to koenji doing this <laughs> and then she, you know she said oh dragon boy and then he's like ryuan's like if you call me that again i'm going to fucking kill you um which was absolutely hilarious because then she just said it again and all of a sudden we have it to where she has a guy this one of her i guess minions or people like take the hit for her um, so it's interesting. This girl can get under Ryuin's skin, and it clearly show clearly shows that uh he does not like her, um, and she just likes to tease him. Um, now who knows? Maybe she's a real mastermind type of individual. So um it's an interesting, it's an interesting approach with her. I don't know, but there was a very tense conversation that happened there but really ultimately that was the thing that wasn't the issue um so anyways um the last part is pretty much they know that they want to get the mastermind to come out and obviously like they said like i mentioned earlier you know ryuin thinks obviously they can design a koji which it is and you know we know these past few episodes Aina koji has gotten fairly close to our girl k and obviously he knows that and he made that threat like he was going to do something to her and we already knew that if something happened to her she would tell Aina Koji and Aina Koji would do something about it uh we even have in this episode Aina Koji and meant like you know Ryuin is actually being kind of a problem or a thorn in his side pretty much um and the thing is Ryuan sets the stage and it's kind of a thing where it's like well the one girl is like listen it's gonna be hard to do what you want to do um especially with all these cameras around so they go like to this like this off-site thing where i guess there's no cameras anywhere or something 
um, to where they can't be found out for what they're doing. Um, and pretty much he sends some sort of message to Kay. Now, we don't know what this message said, but it was something, I guess, damning. Um, but it was probably something like, oh, we'll reveal your past or something. And stupidly enough, uh, Kay actually showed up. Now, like I said, we don't know what he sent her. He must have sent her something that made her show up there for a reason. Um, unless it was this whole thing of like, I'm going to expose your past. I'm going to expose, you know, who you are um, to the entire school now. Mind you, maybe, you know, it's the type of thing where it's so damning that people would be like, oh, yeah, maybe I should not hang out with you. Maybe it's got a thing to keep her reputation straight. We don't know. Um, but it's this whole thing where she gets pretty much tied up. And we're already brought to the point of the fact that pretty much it's cold at where they're at. And plus it's nighttime. So cold nighttime, that doesn't work well. So pretty much they have like these jugs of water and they're just splashing it all over K. Um, pretty much in a way, making it colder for her, pretty much freezing her. They also took off her jacket and everything. Um, now that they were going to get into like, some territory that um, I was like, oh, wow, are they gonna go like that direction? But no, seemingly enough, it looks like they're torturing her to break her to now. And the thing is, Rian one's like, just tell me who the mastermind is and I'll let you go scot-free. But Kay isn't breaking despite all of these cold water, or despite this water being splashed. And like I said, you know, it's already cold where they're at. So the more water that's splashed, it's cold. So. She could legitimately like freeze to death due to the cold water because she could get hyper hyperthermia. Um, and then they even freaking gagged her in a way where they gagged her. Um, it's called waterboarding. Um, it's where you pretty much put like a cloth and then you just put water on somebody's face. You can actually like legitimately drown from that. Um, so this dude Ryuwen is going to lengths of practically trying to kill Kay just to get her to break. And so far Kay's not breaking. She's absolutely like resisting and stuff like that, which goes to show you. I guess you can. I guess you can say it goes to show you how much she cares about Ayana Koji. Um, now we'll see how if she will break or if she won't. But from what I've seen from other people's comment sections, they're saying next episode will be a huge character development moment for K. Um, so hey, I'm all for it for K. She's obviously been like. Right now, Kay has been my favorite girl out of the class from the Elite um, start. You know, it's been a while since I've seen season one. I have to go back and watch. Maybe that's what I'll do. Go back, watch all of season one and then season two um, when it's completed. Um, but, you know, season two, I definitely grew a very much a liking to Kay. And she's my favorite girl out of all the class from the Elite girls. Um, and I don't want her to get tortured anymore. I don't like seeing her get tortured. Um, but... You know she's not breaking and if she's gonna get a very big character development moment i'm guessing maybe she doesn't break but who knows who knows uh but we'll find out anyways guys if you guys like the video leave a like put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode of classroom the elite as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more classroom the elite content or, there, or any other anime content i upload to the channel so then guys stay safe out there and have a great rest of your monday peace